Hello and welcome to Drama Recaps. Today, we are going to delve into the 2021 dramatic film, The Fallout. Spoilers ahead. On what seemed to be a typical day in the life of Veda, she found herself lethargic as she drove to school alongside her best friend, Nick. It wasn't until she reached her classroom that she received a distressing text message from her younger sister, Amelia. Stepping into the hallway, Veda comes to understand that Amelia is going through her first period, causing a fair share of concern. Amelia, however, chooses to lighten the situation by joking about it and vows to share the unvarnished truth of the experience later that evening. In the school bathroom, Veda encounters Mia, a well-liked and well-known student at their school. In a moment of casual conversation, Veda compliments Mia on her natural beauty, stating she doesn't need to wear makeup. Then, out of nowhere, the terror unfolds, gunshots echo from the hallway. The girls rush into a bathroom stall for cover, their hearts pounding. As the seemingly incessant gunfire continues, a moment of despair overtakes Veda and she sends what she believes could be her final text message. Soon, they're joined by another student, Winton, who tragically reveals the shooter has killed his younger brother. Eventually, the police intervene, neutralizing the shooter. In the aftermath, Veda struggles to cope with the traumatic incident. In her solitude, she finds Mia's Instagram profile and decides to reach out, admitting her struggle with insomnia. During their conversation, Mia reveals her parents are currently in Japan, leaving her alone and frightened in their home. She gives Veda her phone number and extends an invitation to visit. Waking from a nightmare, Veda decides to pay a visit to Nick in the afternoon. They discuss the harrowing event, leading Nick to ponder whether his survival signifies a purpose, to prevent such horrific incidents from happening in the future. Inspired, he decides to start a movement against school shootings. At home, Veda finds herself engrossed in Mia's dance videos on Instagram. After a while, Mia invites her over. When they meet, Mia tries to maintain a facade of normalcy despite her internal turmoil. Veda expresses her admiration for Mia's dancing skills and brings up the upcoming funeral of Winton's brother, an event she feels obligated to attend. Mia offers to accompany her. Their presence at the funeral proves to be a beacon of support for Winton, as he grapples with the tragedy that befell him and his brother. Veda brings back a condolence card from the funeral and stores it in a box. As time passes, this box begins to fill with similar cards from other bereaved families affected by the dreadful school tragedy. Haunted by the traumatic event, Veda finds solace in Mia's company when she invites her over again. Veda learns that Mia, despite her attractive exterior, is not the party-going type but rather, she invests all her spare time into dance, a hobby she was dedicated to before the school shooting. One night, Mia requests Veda to stay with her until she drifts off to sleep. On her way back home, Veda expresses regret to Nick for not attending the protest march he led. As nightmares continue to torment Veda, her mother suggests she sees a psychiatrist. Although she visits the psychiatrist, Veda struggles to reveal her true feelings, claiming that she is doing just fine. Back home, while Amelia is busy filming a TikTok dance video, Veda gets a text from Winton, expressing gratitude for attending his brother's funeral and suggesting they meet. At the cafe, they sit in silence until Veda offers a comforting hug. Veda visits Mia's house again, where they watch Nick's performance online. At home, Veda avoids communicating with her mother, growing irritated when her mother suggests she return to school. Veda is envious that Mia's parents have allowed her to stay home for as long as she needs. Despite her anxiety, Veda does return to school, where she's gripped by panic attacks, especially at the thought of using the bathroom. To cope, she purchases something from the school clerk that alters her state, leading her to sit through classes in a daze. In her altered state, Veda ends up chewing on a pen and smearing herself with ink, prompting her to leave the classroom. Overwhelmed in the corridor, she texts Nick for help. He finds her and escorts her home, where Amelia attempts to find out what's bothering her. Veda, in her usual style, deflects the concern with humor. The following morning, Veda receives a call from Winton informing her about the odd messages she sent him while in her altered state the previous day. In response, Veda invites him over to her house that night to watch a movie. 
Winton agrees to the movie plan and visits Veda, but their movie time is abruptly halted when he gets a call to return home. In the evening, Veda fabricates a story about going over to Nick's again, but instead, she heads over to Mia's place. The girls spend their time together in the sauna, where they learn that they are both still virgins. They spend the rest of the night getting intoxicated, going for a stroll, and later deciding to experiment. When morning arrives, Veda realizes the implications of the previous night and heads back home, only to be met by a concerned family who couldn't reach her as she had switched off her phone. Her excuse of being at Nick's falls apart when he himself calls looking for her. Feeling cornered, Veda confesses to her parents that she was at Mia's place, getting drunk, despite not liking alcohol. She then visits Nick to apologize, but he reprimands her for her casual attitude and expresses his worry for her. He criticizes her for spending time with Mia as if nothing serious happened at school. This leads to Veda feeling upset and running away. Veda shares her encounter with Nick with Winton. He reassures her by saying that Nick is under a lot of stress due to his activist work. She then asks Winton to talk about his deceased brother, something no one has done in a while for fear of causing him more pain. Winton opens up about his brother, and in the midst of this emotional moment, Veda kisses him. However, Winton gently rebuffs her advances, stating that he's not emotionally ready for a relationship yet. Feeling upset, Veda steps out of the car and later receives messages from Mia, asking if she's upset with her. Later that night, Amelia joins Veda in bed to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Despite her usually cool demeanor, Amelia confesses that she misses their interactions and feels guilty about sending the text message that put Veda in the school hallway at the time of the shooting. In response, Veda reveals that in the bathroom, she was certain she was going to die. She realized that she could only send a final text to one person, and she chose Amelia, her message being, I love you too. The sisters share this emotional moment and fall asleep together. The next day, Veda's father takes her to the countryside. In a candid conversation about the school incident, Veda accidentally lets slip a curse word. Taking this as a sign of bottled up emotions, her father suggests they both let out a yell. This shared outburst seems to lift both their spirits, bringing the father and daughter closer together. Taking a step forward, Veda visits Mia, only to find her inebriated in the sauna. Through their conversation, they discover that they both feared their intimate night together might have ruined their friendship, when in reality, it did not. Emboldened by their newfound understanding, Mia decides to resume her dance classes, with Veda pledging to accompany her. At her next psychiatrist session, Veda opens up even more. She confesses her feelings of insignificance compared to her peers like Nick, who seem to have coped better with the tragedy and are now actively seeking to change the world. She admits to grappling with survivor's guilt, wondering why she survived when others did not. However, she now realizes there was no particular reason for her survival, just as there was no reason for others to lose their lives. Upon returning home, Veda embraces her mother, a gesture they hadn't shared in a while. She divulges details about her drinking, drug use, and the night she spent with Mia. Taken aback by her daughter's revelations, her mother pours herself a generous glass of wine. Veda reaches the dance school and sends a text to Mia, letting her know that she's waiting for her. As she looks up at the sky, a sense of happiness washes over her. But this moment of tranquility is shattered when she receives a news alert about another school shooting, this time in Ohio, which triggers another panic attack in Veda. This is the end of the movie, let me know what you think about this movie in the comments, and subscribe to the channel so as not to miss the release of new content, thanks for watching.